Welcome to this short series of videos on fast scanning of abdomen of small animals uh, in practice. I'm Ben Sullivan and I'm the in-house vet for BCF Technology. We're just going to cover very briefly what fast scanning is, when you'd want to use it, uh, how to use it and also what we might expect to see, so how to interpret our findings as well. First of all, what is fast scanning? Well, it stands for Focused Assessment with Sonography for Trauma. Um, it's uh, a technique that's been uh, kind of developed uh, from human A&E departments or casualties um, to assess patients who have had blunt trauma, uh, looking for basically for free fluid within body cavities. So within the abdomen, we're, we're particularly looking at the peritoneal and retroperitoneal cavities. You can also uh, extend it to look at the pericardial and pleural cavities as well, uh, either either um, from the abdomen or, or across the thorax. Um, it's uh, been extrapolated into the or carried across into into veterinary practice, and really, it's it's a, a, a pr procedure that's used in emergency departments. So to assess to assess cases that come in as, as emergencies, for uh, again for looking for uh, free fluid uh, occurred through blunt trauma. So if an animal's uh, generally been hit by a car or something like that, uh, it gives us a quick and easy way of of checking them out. It is very sensitive and very specific. So the reported uh, sensitivities are up to 80 and 100 percent and and again specificity of between 98 and 100 percent is reported um, it's very cheap uh, it's very quick uh, way of way of uh, assessing the animal the the technology is usually portable uh, it's nice and reliable it's accurate it's easy to pick up and to learn how to do it and it's safe because it's radiation sparing uh, it's non-invasive and the other thing is it can be repeated uh, without too much hassle. So we can serially monitor a patient. Whereas if you look at other procedures, something like CT scanning, for example, don't really lend themselves to repeat examinations. The only disadvantage is that uh, the nature of it means that we're not really specifically looking at, in detail at any of the abdominal organs. So we, we're just focusing our mind on is there fluid present or not.